In this video, we are going to talk about effective commenting in Python, particularly in Jupyter Notebooks. Commenting is a crucial aspect of code development as it helps enhance code readability, collaboration, and maintenance. Let's explore some best practices and examples of commenting in Python code uh, within Jupyter Notebook. In Jupyter Notebook, you can use markdown cells to add formatted text, images, links, and more. Markdown is a lightweight markup language that is easy to read and write. It allows you to create rich text documents with simple and plain text. So, for example, here I wrote best practice for commenting in a cell. And then I change the cell to markdown simply using uh, by selecting markdown here. So to create headings in markdown, you can use hash symbol. And the number of hash symbols indicates the level of the heading, where one hash symbol is the highest level and six hash symbol is the lowest level. So I can change the level, for example, to level two, three, four, five, six, and etc. So I keep it in the level one for my purpose. And then just press run. So you have got a heading here. So in a Jupyter Markdown cell, you can use these heading uh, syntaxes to structure your content. Uh, for example, I can say, okay, best practice for commenting. And then I can say, all right, uh, section one, uh, for example, inline commenting. Or section two, I can say multiple line commenting. As you see, the font size is different. All right. Also in the next cell, I used Markdown and I wrote whatever I wanted to write down here. Uh, so simply you can write down whatever you want and select Markdown to change the cell type from the code to Markdown. Okay. So best practice for commenting in Python uh, is number one, uh, you need to use a clear and concise comments. So comments should be very brief, but descriptive and explain the purpose of your code. And remember, in most cases, we need to return back to our code and review them or rerun them. So it's better for us to keep the comment what we have done in a specific line of code. And number two, comments should be placed near the relevant code and providing uh, the purpose is to provide context without cluttering in the script. And it is very important that you keep your comments updated uh, regularly. So uh, when you review your code, make sure that the comments are updated. So here we have got an example of a single line comment. So as you see, the cell in line three is actually a code cell. So how we can put a comment in a code cell? So if you need to create a new cell, as you see, new cell by default is a code cell, right? I didn't change it to markdown. I want to keep it a code because I want to write down a code here. For example, I want to say x is equal to 7. But meanwhile, what I want to do, I want to add a comment here. Say, for example, x is my variable. So to put a comment in a cell, which is a code cell, I need to put a hash. So simply, you can put a hash anywhere and write on your comments, okay? 
So here we have got total equal to zero. So I put comment, example of single line comment. And also I put a comment here in front of my code using hash. Also, you can use uh, double quotes. Uh, so we can say triple double quotes in order to uh, put some multi-line comments in a cell code. So as you see here, we put a comment, this is a multi-line comment. It can be used for more extensive explanations. This is an inline comment or single line comment. And this is an inline comment, right? So this is how you can create comments uh, in Python. So if you run this code, you see, the only thing that would be executed is the codes. So if I say total, for example, the output would be zero. So none of the comments would be executed. And this is how you can create comments in Python.